What's going on? My name is Michael. In this video, I'm going to be explaining what iCloud Photo Library is, how you can use it, and how it works across your Apple devices. So when you get a new iPhone, iCloud Photo Library is turned on by default, and when you open the camera and start taking photos or recording videos, those items are going to be automatically uploaded to the cloud, and they're going to count towards your iCloud storage. So first, to make sure iCloud Photo Library is turned on, you're going to open Settings, Scroll down to Photos, and then iCloud Photos is the first toggle here at the top. And once this is on, your iPhone is gonna automatically start uploading all the items that are stored on your iPhone to the cloud, and it is going to count towards your iCloud storage. Now to check how much iCloud storage you have available, go back into Settings, scroll up, click on your name, and then click on iCloud, and next to iCloud it's gonna say uh, your storage plan, so I have 200 gigabytes here. And then at the top, you can see it shows all of your storage based on what type of uh, media is taking up your storage. You can see mine is majority photos. If you click on manage storage, you can see a lot more detail. We'll give it a second to load here. And then once you click on it, you can see everything that is taking up uh, your storage in the cloud. So for my case, uh, 124.8 gigabytes worth of photos and videos are stored in iCloud Photos. And then once this gets filled up, I will have to upgrade my storage. And I am going to talk about that a little bit more in this video. So uh, once iCloud Photo Library is turned on, all your devices are going to have the exact same library of your photos and videos. Now, your device is going to upload mainly on Wi-Fi. If you do have an unlimited cellular plan, though, you can make it so your device will upload uh, your photos and videos over cellular. So this was uh, a pretty good example of this is if you're out, you're on a hike, and you take a lot of photos, and then you drop your phone down a cliff, uh, hopefully all of those photos and videos you took up to that point were able to upload over cellular. So if you want to turn that on, uh, go back into photo settings, choose cellular data, and then you can choose unlimited updates right here. Now I have this turned off because I don't have unlimited data, but if you really care about every single photo and video you take instantly going up to the cloud so you know it's safe, turn this on and uh, your iPhone will automatically upload uh, every item that is stored in your photo library. Uh, keep in mind this will eat your cellular data a lot and it also will eat through your battery life. So uh, just keep that in mind before turning this on, but the option is there. So when you open your actual photo library, you can see it's sorted into four different tabs. You have all photos, days, months, and years. Now, the three tabs to the left, days, months, and years, uh, those are all curated by the device uh, to show you the photos that it thinks you want to see. So you can click on days, months, and years, and all photos is pretty much every single photo in your photo library, including uh, boring screenshots and wallpapers that you saved and pictures of documents. And when you click on days, your iPhone tries to get rid of those boring photos and only show you uh, the highlights of what it thinks you want to see. And then you also have For You, which is curated memories on your device. I'm not gonna click on that just because there's some personal stuff on there. But if you click on For You, uh, your iPhone is going to learn the different people that you take photos of. It's gonna memorize their faces. And it's also going to memorize different locations of places that you go to. So it can uh, have these curated little movies uh, with music uh, for all of your photos. Uh, so it's kind of like a personal little highlight reel uh, with some music playing in the background. So that's pretty nice uh, that you get that free with iCloud Photos. So here, just at the top of the For You page, you can see sometimes you get featured photos. Uh, so this was one year ago today, and then there's some other recommended photos that you can scroll through uh, in the For You section of iCloud. Uh, every year with Apple's latest iOS update, this year with iOS 15, it seems like the For You section and the recommended photos are getting smarter and smarter. So uh, I really like what Apple does here with the recommended photos, and it's just a good way uh, to relive your memories. And also when you're in this all photos view, you can zoom all the way out to see literally uh, a bird's eye view of every photo that you've ever taken. And then once you zoom in a little bit more, if you scroll all the way down to your photos, it will show the count of how many items are in your photo library. So on my phone, I have about 9,400 photos and 1,100 videos. And uh, I said I was gonna talk about storage in this video. So as iPhones are able to record better video and the photo quality gets better, and as Apple pushes uh, the ability to take raw photos with your iPhone, uh, iCloud storage is going to be getting very, very full. And iPhones only come with five gigabytes of iCloud storage out of the box for free. If you want any more than that connected to your Apple ID, you are going to have to pay. I think I'm paying $299 right now for my 200 gigs. 
And as you saw, I don't have very much left. I'm probably only going to get maybe a year of uploads before I have to go to the two terabyte plan. And I bet people are out there uh, using almost two terabytes also worth of photos and videos. So I don't know what Apple is going to do. Uh, once people start demanding more storage, they might have to offer a 10 terabyte iCloud plan. Uh, just because, like I said, iPhones these days, uh, especially with ProRes video, uh, the option to record or take photos in the raw format, uh, it's just taking up so much cloud storage. And you can actually see uh, how much storage each photo is taking up. So if I click on a photo here, uh, like this one of the iPhone, you can scroll down and you can actually see some information uh, on the photo. Now this was taken with a mirrorless camera. If it was taken on an iPhone, there would be a map right here. You can see it says add location. But just above this, you have all of your EXIF information for the photo. So it'll tell you what camera it was taken with. It'll tell you the lens. It'll tell you the, uh, the megapixel count, the size of the image. So you can see here, this is about seven megabytes. A raw photo, if you take it with an iPhone Pro, I believe is around 20 megabytes. And the uh, regular JPEGs and high efficiency images are around five or six megabytes, I believe. So, so all of this counts towards your iCloud storage. Every photo and video that you put in iCloud, I uploaded this through my computer and it's counting towards my iCloud storage. So just keep that in mind that when you get your iPhone out of the box, you only get five gigabytes of iCloud. A lot of people get that message saying that iCloud storage is almost full. And for most people, it is the, uh, the photos uh, which is doing it. So uh, if I go out of here and go down to photos, if you wanna just store your photos on the device, you can turn off iCloud photos. If I click that, it's going to ask me if I want to do that. I'm gonna hit cancel because I don't wanna actually turn that off. But uh, if you turn off iCloud photos, uh, your photos and videos won't be uploaded and it'll be counting towards the storage on your actual iPhone. Now, another setting in regards to iPhone storage is this box right here. So optimize iPhone storage versus download and keep originals. So if you have say the one terabyte iPhone 13 Pro, maybe choose download and keep originals if it's important to you to scroll back two years in time and uh, click on that 4K video and watch it in full resolution without downloading it from iCloud, that's fine. But I'd recommend 99% of users just choose optimize iPhone storage as the iPhone will uh, smartly in the background uh, remove photos and videos that it thinks you're not gonna look at. And then if you want to look at them, it'll simply download it from iCloud again in full resolution. So uh, for most users, most iPhone users, I'd recommend choose optimize iPhone storage for iCloud photos. If you find that you're taking photos and videos and they're taking up way too much space in iCloud, you actually can lower the resolution of uh, your videos by going into settings and going to camera and you may find that you're recording video in a resolution that you don't need to. So if you choose record video, you can drop the resolution all the way down to HD at 30 FPS. The quality of this video is not going to be as good, but if you wanna save iCloud storage and still be able to film a very important memory happening in front of you, uh, that is still the option here inside the camera settings. And also for photos, you can't change the resolution. So it would be kind of nice if Apple offered an economy version uh, of taking photos, maybe three or four or six megapixels, but you can't do that. You can only change the format. So right now the lowest storage option for a 12 megapixel photo is the high efficiency capture. Uh, but if you choose most compatible, it's going to be outputting a JPEG image and it is going to be taking a little more storage. So I took two photos here with these two different formats to show you the different size uh, that they take up. So here in the camera, I snapped two photos. This is the high efficiency format and it's coming in at under four megabytes, 3.6 megabytes. And this is the JPEG and it's coming in at 4.3 megabytes. So uh, JPEGs are a lot larger. I believe the iPhone comes out of the box set to high efficiency. So uh, just keep that setting and your iPhones uh, won't take up as much storage. And also something really cool that Apple added recently in iCloud Photos is the option to add a caption. So you can see here, caption, if I click right here, I can just say, it's a wall. There we go, I added a caption to this photo, it's a wall. So uh, this is pretty cool. I, uh, I caption some of my photos when I have family gatherings and stuff. I just wanna remember uh, whose birthday it was or what event we were celebrating. So the ability to quickly add a caption to a photo uh, just makes it a little bit more personal. So hopefully this video helped you guys understand iCloud Photo Library just a little bit better. 
Uh, I know this video was a little bit awkward because I couldn't really poke through all of my photo library just because I don't want to invade people's privacy of you know people's photo that I've taken. I don't want to show you guys all my photos. So when doing a video on the Photos app, it's kind of hard to really show you all the features just because I don't want to show you guys my entire photo library, which is why I was you know zoomed out for the entire video. But if you guys have any questions, make sure to comment down below. I'm always here to help. Drop a like on this video if it helped you out. My name is Michael and I'll see you in the next video.